How much life do you plan on living? That's a question that we will talk a little bit about today as we talk about a poem known as To an Athlete Dying Young. Welcome to Strip Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. I'm Adrian Ford, and we're here for another poetry discussion, which will appear, of course, in the poetry discussion playlist here on the channel. The poem in question today, To an Athlete Dying Young by A.E. Hausman, and it reads as such. The time you won the, your town raised. The, let me start over. The time you won your town, the race, we cheered you through the marketplace. Man and boy stood cheering by, and home we brought you, shoulder high. Today the road all runners come, shoulder high we bring you home. And set you at your threshold down, townsman of a stiller town. Smart lad to slip betimes away from fields where glory does not stay, and early, though the laurel grows, it it withers quicker than the rose. Eyes the shady night has shut, cannot see the record cut, and silence sounds no worse than cheers, after earth has stopped the ears. Now you will not swell the rout of lads that wore their honors out, runners whom renown outran and the name died before the man. So set, before its echoes fade, the fleet foot on all sill of shade, and hold the low lintel up, the still defended challenge cup. And round that early laurelled head will flock to gaze the strengthless dead, and find unwithered on its curls the garland briefer than a girl's. So, one thing that I want to really draw some type of attention to in this poem. So, what this is about is obviously an athlete dying young. The first stanza here is about cheering this athlete on and shouldering him on a chair through the town after winning a race. Today, the road all runners come shoulder high, we bring you home and set you at your threshold, townsman of a smaller town. This is someone being laid to rest. This is a scene from a funeral. So that's how quickly we transition between the two stories. That's how quickly we transition in life. That is the point, I believe, being made there. But where I want to draw a little bit of attention is this. The you. The time you won your town the race. So we have someone here that is winning the town the race. We have someone here, we chaired you through the marketplace. This individual is an observer, right? So we have sort of the classic story of the hero and the commoner. The poem goes on a little bit to suggest that the heroes often become commoners, but this uh, fleet of foot and fleet of waking life athlete had found his way out before that. Where's the smart lad to slip away? Betime, smart lad to slip betimes away from fields where glory does not stay. So I want to talk about something known as amorphati. Amorphati is a Latin phrase. This is stolen from Wikipedia that may be translated as love of fate or love of one's fate. It is used to describe an attitude in which one sees everything that happens in one's life, including suffering and loss, as good or, at the very least, necessary. Amorphati is associated with what Friedrich Nietzsche called eternal recurrence, the idea that over an infinite period of time, everything recurs infinitely. From this, he has developed a desire to be willing to live exactly the same life over and over for all eternity. Long for nothing more fervently than this ultimate eternal confirmation and seal. So, 
The reason I want to bring that up a little bit, the idea of love of fate, love of one's fate, seeing everything, including suffering and loss, as good or at the very least necessary. Talking about heroes, which used to be a real thing, and I don't mean that in some sort of ethereal way. What I mean is there used to be a thing called hero battle, where if your army and another army were about to do battle, it could be up to the leaders to say, hey, let's not get all these people killed. Your best guy and my best guy can go at it, and the winner of that fight wins. If you are that hero, the way that our athlete is here, it must feel a little unfair, mustn't it, to be the one presented for the town race, to be the one presented uh, for the battle when everyone else gets to go home, because you then are the only one taking any risk. But if you believe in fate, if you believe that there is something out there called fate, then it doesn't matter, does it? You understand that if there is something called fate, you will die whenever it is that you will die, and that will happen one way or another. So if you accept these other challenges, you are the hero put up for battle. If that is you, if it's your fate to die, you weren't going to escape it anyway. But if it's your fate to live, then your status as a hero has grown exponentially. Your status as a hero, what it means for you to be the hero that you are, grows in legend. The runner that we have pointed out in this poem, the athlete who has died young, it's not quite so up front. It's not quite dying in battle, right? We don't know, in fact, what it was that this athlete, from which this athlete had died. We don't know one way or another. Only that this death happened young, to an athlete dying young. But to an athlete dying after having had accomplishments. To an athlete dying after having been held as the hero at least once the time that he won the town, the race. Fate is a bit of a tricky thing to accept, I think, especially in today's world. Seeing so many people that... It's almost inescapable that you know someone who has died in some tragic way that just didn't make sense. It didn't even make sense. And you can take that one of two ways. Either one, that is fate taking place, or two, there's no such thing as fate. You can screw everything up in a heartbeat. If, however, you were to accept the idea of fate, do you think that you would live more wholly? Do you think that you would go out on an edge more often? Do you think that you would take more advantage of the day? Do you think you would as this poem suggests, enter more races. It's easy, I think, to act too conservatively, to act too um, reservedly. When you only get one chance, there's only one life. So, why would you want it to end prematurely? But the opposite of that, as the speaker says of the athlete in this poem, is that you can, where's the line? Let me try and find the line. You can live way too long. Now you will not swell the rout of lads who wore their honors out, runners whom renown outran, and then the name died before the man. Is that a fate worse than an early death? 
That's all I have for this poetry discussion. If you like or appreciate what it is that I do here, hitting the like button really does help me out as it tells YouTube to share this video with other literature lovers. If you find yourself here by chance but not design, literature is the only thing I talk about on this channel, dropping poetry videos every Monday. But more than that, talk about short stories and novels as well. And I hope to have you back for the next one.